I think from a digital solution that I'm really looking forward to, I think is more collaboration tools. Uh, the biggest uh, you know, bottleneck that we have in terms of a hybrid model of working, which is basically what everybody is trying to get to, is really around the fact that we don't have whiteboarding tools. You cannot collaborate and you, know, you cannot really do brainstorming in a remote setup. Uh, I think I've been working with a few companies, NVIDIA is one of them, a few others as well, who are coming up with solutions, Google is as well, uh, but I think all of them have to mature quite a bit. But once that comes in, uh, this barrier about where you work, how you work really is going to be a question of the past, the way I look at it. The biggest technology solutions that we are looking for in terms of investment, in terms of you know, leveraging, is really around data management. Um, I think uh, if you look at it, there are a lot of companies that are actually looking at mining data, but it's gone beyond that, right? I mean, we're looking at machine learning, we're looking at AI that can actually cull intelligence out of data that we probably cannot do in terms of manual interventions and getting intelligence out of it. I think that this is where I think the industry is really getting, uh, you know, really uh, fascinating. Uh, machine learning in particular is supposed to actually give you uh, de details from data that you probably can't call out today. Okay, so to me, I think AI and ML are going to change the game. And for that, you need the right data at the right time with the ML actually giving you the intelligence that is required. To me, data solutions are the wave of the future. There are a customer experience you basically brought up is very, very important. Um, I think it's happening in multiple industries. I mean, uh, me, I'm from banking. So we're really looking at what sort of customer profiles you can go to, uh, look at, what sort of uh, you know packages that we can offer to our potential customers. CRM as, a, as an area, the relationship management is not about getting to know the customer from a peripheral standpoint, but actually looking at the data and to be able to get pointed solutions addressed to them. Uh, but I think most industries are going that route. I mean, manufacturing is already headed phenomenally into actually looking at automation in manufacturing, which is which is, is going to be the future. I think it was interesting that I was part of the keynote with Justice Sri Krishna, right? I mean, he was really talking about data privacy, data protection, and the individual being, uh, you know, in control of what they want to share. Um, I think we have a long way to go in terms of some of these legislative changes that are required in order to bring uh, data uh, under control, <laughs> more or less. I mean, I, I like the example that was quoted in terms of saying the wife getting a, 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 a sari invitation from somebody <laughs> because the data was on an airline platform. That's actually the truth. Uh, to me, these, are going, these have to be more collaborative. These have to be more discussions. And I think debates that need to happen amongst the uh, participants of this to be able to influence what the government does. And to me, it's an important event from that standpoint. Hopefully, we will get there in terms of uh, having those interesting discussions. I think uh, from an ETCIO standpoint, I, I didn't see too much of a focus on learning. Uh, I think the learning paradigms of the future are going to be very, very Facebook-like, Netflix-like and things like that, right? Because we, we're so distributed in the way we work. I think there needs to be a separate you know, stream that actually looks at digital learning.